You know, we've been talking about uh, tourism here in Jefferson, and people are coming out here in droves because there's so much that this parish has to offer. And Violet Peters from the Jefferson Convention and Visitors Bureau is in with uh, some things that are happening out here. And a lot of people don't realize because they think it's the New Orleans Convention and Visitors Bureau. That's the one they hear the most of. You guys are around, and you're doing big things. We are. We are $1.9 billion, $1 billion industry in Jefferson Parish, so we've been working really hard over the years. And a lot of times, uh, you know, when people talk about, uh, you know, coming to Louisiana, they talk about coming to New Orleans, but you guys are trying to get people to say, not just New Orleans, but Jefferson's got a lot to offer, whether they want to go fishing or come to a park or a great restaurant. Jefferson's a great complement to New Orleans. We offer a lot of amenities that New Orleans New Orleans does not have, a great, with the Swamp Tours, great outdoor amenities. So we've got two state parks, a national park, a lot of things outdoor. We do offer some history as well, and of course, food. You know, yeah. We all know and the that. Oyster Trail was a really good idea. That came after the BP oil spill. It did. It did. It was a great opportunity for us to showcase not only our cuisine and the fact that the home, the, we're the home of the troubled oyster, but it also gave us an opportunity to talk about the safety of our seafood at the same time. And when, when, you, when you sell Jefferson, because clearly New Orleans has always been the destination when people come here, but you have thousands of hotel rooms here. When there's a big event in New Orleans, you guys get the overflow. And even when there's not, you want them to stay here and say, hey, stay in, in uh, Jefferson make the trip into New Orleans. Right. We work well together with New Orleans, actually. So, yes, we have 8,000 hotel rooms. We do benefit from the major events, and we're, we're excited about being right next door to, to New Orleans. It, it's a great compliment. And you guys, uh, this is the only baseball where we have AAA baseball AAA here baseball. in uh, Jefferson Parish on Airline Drive. Uh, the baby cakes have done really well, and they brought back the Friday night fireworks. They have. They're really excited to have Friday night fireworks again, and they've got um, so many great things going on this season with baby cakes. And it's, it's again, 36 cities across the country that have AAA yeah. baseball, so it's unique to Jefferson. And have, have, has, has the attendance at, at the Baby Cakes game gone up since they changed the name and brought back the fireworks? Um, you know, I don't know about the name change. I was speaking with Baby Cakes it not long ago, and it's, and it's going up, so it's good. And you guys also have a lot of swamp tours out here. We'll go to Katie uh, Steiner, who is out at Bayou Signet, one of the great places uh, in Jefferson. But there's a lot of lot of, to offer uh, for nature and swamp tours. Absolutely. We've got the swamp tours where summer, of course, is the great time to see all of the alligators yeah. in addition to um, the birds and the different things with that live within the swamp. But we've got places like the Lafitte Baratara Museum and the Wetland Trace Boardwalk, a mile boardwalk over the swamp. You'd never know you were a stone's throw away from the French Quarter. A lot of people forget that's here. It's, an, it's a whole nother world, Eric. Yeah. It really is. And one thing I didn't know, I didn't realize there's a professional rugby team in Jefferson Parish. We are so excited about Major League Rugby, right? Yeah. This is the first season home in Jefferson Parish. It's NOLA goal. They're playing out of the Archbishop Shaw Stadium that was improved specifically for them. And tomorrow's game is going to air nationally on CBS Sports Network. So it's tremendous for Jefferson and the region, really. And rugby is a fun game to watch. I, I played it in, in high school as, as a kid. It's a fun game to play in, but a fun game to watch. I mean, there's always a lot going of on. excitement. A lot of excitement. It's definitely an action game, and they're going to have things for the kids to do, the whole yeah. family to do at the game. Mm -hmm. And and where do they play? They're playing at Archbishop Shaw um, Stadium. Okay, very uh, good. In Marrero. Well, that's mm -hmm. that's that's good to know. So it's... they can find all of that on our website. Um, all right, great. And uh, while we're here on the east bank of Jefferson Parish, uh, we do want to uh, send it back to uh, Katie Steiner. She is over in beautiful Bayou Signet State Park. And I'll tell you what, I love those little cabins that are over the water there. Katie, it's a neat place over there. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Yeah, we are here with Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungaster. Thank you so much for joining us. And we're going to talk about the group camps. Eric just mentioned how we love the cabins that float on the water. Right. This is a great facility. Just added to the new cabins that opened up on the water. Uh, 80 people, 40 on each side with a kitchen, a dining room. Great for groups from out of town to come here. We get a lot of church groups that come here to do volunteer work. And uh, it's a great, uh, really cost-effective place to stay and the Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts. So a great opportunity for us to offer large groups an opportunity to come to Louisiana, visit a state park, and do uh, a lot of great things in Louisiana. So we're gonna give you actually a walking tour here. So this is where everybody would eat. You can cook in there. And then there's you also have dorms here as well. Absolutely, they're separated by separate bathrooms, 40 mm -hmm. for the girls, 40 for the boys. And That's then big. Great breezeway where they have cookouts and uh, 
great opportunity even for local groups to come and and we're starting to promote our state parks to louisianans staycation go to a part of louisiana you haven't seen before visit a state park bring your church group or just get a, a family reunion and come stay up with our beautiful state parks these facilities are all over louisiana and uh, are just waiting to be used when you open them up, this opened about six months ago, it takes about a year, year and a half to get it fully booked up, and it will get there. So you can go to our website and book, uh, book a stay here. It's a great park. They catch a lot of fish. We've got a wave pool, and that'll open next weekend, and uh, it fills up every summer. And how important is it for the state to have things like this where people from out of town, you have so many service groups that come down to Louisiana, how important is it that you have a really pretty cheap option for them. Well, you see the RV uh, things building all up on the interstate. You see a new uh, RV site every week where they're selling RVs. It's growing across the country. So to have quality state parks when people come to stay here, then they shop in the local areas, eat in the restaurants. So we're on a mission through our private public partnership to really improve our state parks, putting zip lines, wave pools, maybe some uh, new amenities that we're not thinking about. We have horseback riding now. So we're doing that through private public partnerships so we don't have to go to the taxpayer. And our goal is to have the best state parks in the country so people want to come from all over to stay here. Now, is this the facility that we just saw? Is, are you guys going to have more and more of these throughout the state park? Uh, we have several group camps. We are renovating them. Some of them weren't in the best condition. Mm -hmm. So we're actually going around, putting a checklist together, and upgrading a lot of our bathroom facilities and cabins around the state. We had a lot of flooding. It took 10 years to get these cabins back online. Uh, that's unacceptable. So at the ones that flooded for the 2016 floods, they will all be back online by the end of this year. We've worked really hard to get through that political process quickly uh, to get that revenue coming back in and get those people staying in our state parks. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. And we are going to send it back to you guys. I think that a drink would heal everything and we've got some this morning. It's actually the oldest bar in Metairie and it's the perfect way to wrap up our week of happy hours because the owners of Gennaro's bar say that every day is happy hour there, which sounds good to us. One of the co-owners, Brian Abear, is here this morning and he's brought along two bartenders to whip us up a drink. So we are here with Alyssa Santama and Gabby Hildago. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. This sounds perfect. Happy hour every day. Why do you say that? Well, it's just that kind of a place. It's a neighborhood bar. It's been opened uh, since 1937 under the same name, Gennaro's. Um, and it's a, it's a kind of place where, you know, like Cheers, everybody knows your name. Everybody knows your name. Yeah, it's like a comfortable vibe, which is great. Absolutely. We, uh, we open up at 10 in the morning. At 10 in the morning, we've got uh, some of the old guys in the neighborhood start coming in, riding their bikes over, and, you know, start having their, their beers, you know, for breakfast. And uh, it just keeps going throughout the day. Yeah, I read you guys were open at 10 a.m. I said, oh, that's a mistake. What time do you actually open? You said, no, 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 10 o'clock. And I asked the ladies if they have customers that early you said yes yes sir yes, <laughs> all right well what drink are we making this morning we're making uh, our metairie road bloody mary's uh from Gennaro's. uh both Alyssa and gabby are uh uh, professionals at this and uh, they see. do a good job at uh, setting this up for, uh, for They're us. They're doing a custom order for Mr. Paulson over there. He asked for a spicy one and I'm sure if you have a neighborhood feel like that then people come and you, you probably know what they want when they walk in the door. These ladies do. They uh, again we have a lot of regulars that come in and uh, when they hit the door their drinks are waiting for them at the bar by the time they get there. Perfect. Now I'm the one who's looking for the food at happy hour and you guys have enough of that. Tell me about the po'boys. We do. Uh, Bears famous po'boys of Gennaro's is, uh, is in our building and we're also co-owners of that and uh, we're able to serve Bears Roast Beef Pool Boys right there at the uh, at the bar all day long. As long as the kitchen's open, we're open. Really cool. And you guys have such a great history there. What does that feel like to just be a comfortable place that people love to come to? It is. Uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, our, our co-owners, we all grew up in Metairie. And so we want to continue to perpetuate that, you know, and, and that feel. And yeah. so, uh, you know, the bar's been there since 1937. Um, the day we bought the bar, the only thing we did was put in some extra TVs. That's about wow. it. So we've really not changed anything in there. I love that. Almost like preserving history. Ladies, I see the drinks are ready. Let's bring in Eric and Dave because I think they're We're, ready to taste them. We're ready. We're the experts on this. <laughs> Did you do my uh, my custom one? There oh, you go. Look at you. Extra hours. Order here. Dave? I'll take this one here. And is this one of your bigger sellers? Yes. Bloody Mary is definitely on Fridays and Sundays. That really? Is, yeah. It's a huge one. <laughs> Especially after a game or something like that. Uh, but it, it's good for the morning. Yes, you know, absolutely. For, morning for breakfast. Oh, yeah, if there were a breakfast alcohol. This would be it. <laughs> <laughs> this go. is mimosas. Well, thank you all for coming in. We enjoy yeah. happy hour. And, and again, your happy hour is every day when? 
All day long. All day, All day long. long. You know what? We're going there tomorrow. From Let's 10 a.m. <laughs> and they don't next. have a closing time. No, this That's is like right. legit bar nah, party. Two dollar long next sunglasses. all day. I don't want the station to realize that I'm drinking on the job. Oh, I'm sure they don't uh -huh. recognize you. Yeah, they don't mind it all here. No, <laughs> no one can recognize you in this town. Oh, that's good. Well, this is great. All right, give us the address one more time. It's 1300 Block of Metairie Road, right underneath the Causeway Overpass. All right. And don't forget, they've got Bears Po' Boys right next door, mm, so you can have lunch good. and dinner. All right, coming up next, we're talking about, we've been talking about the beautification of Jefferson. They put up some great, beautiful uh, architect, architecture yeah. and uh, sculptures, what are my sculptures yeah. on the neutral grounds. Thank <laughs> you That Bloody much. Mary's not helping you, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just waiting so long. Good morning once again. Thanks for joining us for our 8.30 half hour on what's been a really gorgeous morning out here oh, on yeah. the Bonneville Boat Launch. It's beautiful. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the water is so placid on the lake and the sun's just kind of glimmering just, over. It's so nice. And enough cloud cover to where it hasn't been too bad for the weather. Yeah, we've the got... few moments now that we've seen a full sun, oh, yeah. it, it immediately gives us a flash up. of the rest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes. We were just looking at the Drago's fire truck. We've had some mm. yummy food this morning as we check so out good. the Jefferson Parish Oyster Trail. Yeah, we've so, had a really nice day out here. It is. And we're trying really to nice. highlight some of the things you see in Jefferson. You know, one of the things we're going to talk about in this half hour is the beautification of Jefferson. If you mm -hmm. drive down Veterans or a lot of other streets mm -hmm. in Jefferson on the neutral ground, you see all those gorgeous sculptures. We'll mm -hmm. be telling you more about that. Yep, we'll talk about one of the group that's playing a big role in that beautification. We'll meet the executive director of the Jefferson Beautification Incorporated. Plus, Chef Kev. I'm at Fleur de Lily. <laughs> Rivertown Cafe. So I'm not, you're not the only one that have food. I'm going to have food here from Rivertown. We knew you'd uh, find some food, Chef Kev. And you know, we do have the the, uh, oy, the, uh, the Drago's Oyster Fire Truck yes. out here. They're charboiling oysters yes. for us. Mm. We're also making some alligator tacos because there are alligators out here. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see one. No, no I haven't right. seen anything yet. Since 1990, there has been a big effort in Jefferson Parish to beautify a lot of the neutral grounds and the parish in general. A lot of that was uh, done by the by the uh, uh, the uh, beautification. What, what is your organization called? Jefferson Beautification Incorporated. There you go. And the executive director is uh, Beulah Oswald Soto. She is here with more, and uh, we have one of the sculptors who you can see his work on Power Boulevard, um, James Gorman. Thank you all for coming in. Uh, first of all, Beulah, uh, this effort started more than 25 years ago. Yes, actually 1990. Yeah, yeah so 28, years, 28 ago. years ago in February. And, and first of all, <clears throat> the first thing you were trying to do is put more trees in yes. Jefferson. Yes, absolutely. The trees behind us were planted in 1992, those live oaks oh, back okay. there by Jefferson Beautification. And then it morphed into <clears throat> when Henry Shane started started helping out with putting some of those beautiful sculptures along uh, um, Veterans yeah, Boulevard. Primarily, yes. We work closely with uh, Henry in the beautification around the Blue Dog to start yeah. with, and uh, he has just done wonders. I hope he spreads out. And, and, <laughs> and it's really changed the face of Metairie and a lot Absolutely. of Jefferson Parish. And uh, James, you have done a, a work of art that is over on uh, Power Boulevard. I think we have yes, some sir. photos of that. Uh, the the work on 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 Power. It's a unique one, and it really lights up and is beautiful at night. Absolutely, it's a. Uh, as I understand it, it's the only one that's out there that you could walk through, which is important to me because the piece is called Through the Infinite, and it's meant to be a journey from beginning to end, and it represents the journey of our lives, born twice, once from God's hands, and once to God's hands. And so the piece is meant to be a reflective walk from one end to the other. And now how did that come to be? Did Henry Shane come to you, or you went to Henry and said, look, I've got an idea for a sculpture, would you be interested? Well, charitable work, always pays off in a lot of ways and it's definitely soul you know it's good for your soul and I gave some flowers to the uh, Council of Aging and Henry Shane is on their board he saw them at one of their events and reached out to me if, to see if I could make something large and I came up with the idea and made a model and pitched the, uh, the model to him one day and he loved the story behind it and he loved the idea and about a year later it was made and put up and you're working on another one now. You're not sure where it's going to go, but it's a bunch of big flowers. Yes, it's uh, this one's called Down to Size, and yeah, it's going to be really beautiful. It's uh, going to be about 16 feet tall, and you'll actually be able to sit in the basically the roots of the flowers, and it's meant to bring us back to our place in nature, where we think we're the lords of the world, where in fact we need to become more 
in tune with the world. And that's yeah. what the sculpture is meant to do. And there are so many sculptures out here at Beulah, you don't even know how many there are. No, I mean, I it's don't. really, I it's really I had become a list prolific when out they here. Started out, but I think actually Powell Boulevard has more than any. Yeah, Power, West Esplanade, yeah. Veterans has okay. a bunch. I mean, it, it's going all over, and you'd like to see that expanded to uh, parts of Jefferson oh, yes, Highway absolutely. and all over. Uh, yes, and River Ridge on Jefferson Highway. When we started the program back in 1990, the then parish president, Michael J. Yenny, just wanted something done on Jefferson Highway. There was not a single tree. Yeah. And now, and we're having a lot of beautification going on now because of the Oxner uh, expansion. Well, you guys have done a great job so, in Jefferson to a place that's only been open for a month, but it is getting rave reviews over in Rivertown. We sent Chef Kev over to Fleur de Lily to check it out. Hi, Chef Kev. Hi, Sheebs. I am here with the actual Lily of Fleur de Lily. It is so nice to have you for let me be in your kitchen. And when did you first get the passion for cooking? Okay, I try to cooking with the, maybe I have a 10 years old, my mom training me for the life, cooking the simple food for rice, beans, uh, meat, little thing and later I training with them. I try to many recipes uh, for different book on the TV and now I try to put that. But it all really starts with mama. Guys, I want to take you, excuse me, Miss Lee, I thank you. I want to show you the rest of this place because there is so much more to see here. Out front earlier, we were in the cafe, but out from the cafe, in back here, there is a full restaurant. And now I'm meeting with Mr. Richard Molina, who it has to answer to Miss Lee because Miss Lee is the boss. That's so come on in. Tell us some of the things that we have that we're looking at. Uh, we have the special from uh, typical uh, food from Honduras. This is called a carne asada. Uh, it's got sweet plantains, uh, sirloin steak, avocado, cream, and, uh, and refried beans and, and, and uh, cheese. So that's a typical food in uh, Honduras. And we have, of course, we have a New Orleans dish here, griots uh, over with uh, uh, grits and cheese. And this is a new location for you. And how long have you all been open here? We've just been open four weeks. Yes. And uh, we started, we moved from another location in Williams Boulevard. So we started in Rivertown. We decided to come and invest here. And uh, we saw a potential where our place. So this is uh, where we, what we have created. And I really like the fact that the cafe in front is small and intimate and the patio out front. And then in the back here, you could actually, this is large enough to have a party. That's correct. We do have events. Uh, last week we had 55 people uh, in events, uh, private events. We closed the whole place for them. We have, this is good for business meetings, parties, Christmas parties, anything that uh, anybody would like to have here with any type of uh, function. Hey gang. I know this is new spot, but you have to come down here to Rivertown, come to Fleur de Lily, meet Miss Lily, meet Mr. Richard, and, and just come and support them because they're nice people. And I tell you what, the kitchen is exquisite inside and the food is so good. So tossing back to you guys. Enjoy the weather out here. Come on out here this morning. Again, the weather's not actually not that yeah. bad. And what a nice day out here. And the thing I like about doing shows on location like this, I have learned a lot about Jefferson I didn't know. I did mm -hmm. not know that the bottom of Bone Launch was the state park, as you were telling us. Not only us. that, but you see all the ju the beautification. Sure. All mm -hmm. the things you can do here yep. with the Convention and Visitors Bureau and just so many things happening in Jefferson that like the oyster, the oyster trail that's been since uh, 2012. Mm -hmm. And I mean, did you know about it before? No, I didn't either. I saw the little sculptures, if you will, but I didn't realize but you didn't what, know they what they were for. Yes. Right. That's why it's important to go to other areas, even though they're so close to home. Sometimes you end up ignoring the things closest. All home. right. We hope you all had a good time watching the show. We thank you all for watching. We'll see you back here at noon today. Take care, guys. Bye.